Welcome to Snoot Shot. This is your host Alex. It's a big day in Manchester in England. Not because two of the Manchester boys will be leading the England lineup in the FIFA World Cup against Colombia, but because Manchester is a venue for the start of the biggest summer cricketing bonanza, India's tour of England. Yes, I might have caught you off guard, but I'm here to talk about the biggest and the most exciting summer cricket that we have for you. It's the India's Tour of England, which starts today in Manchester with the first T20 International. This tour embarks a journey for Virat Kohli, who is leading his team after trying to put away the ghost of last tour. Rahul Dravid famously suffered a series of knockouts when he toured for the first time in early 90s when he could not get back to ball. Four years later, he came to England and walked like a king. Amazing, he more than scoring 600 runs. His duel with Captain Michael Vaughan in that series is something to remember. There are a lot of matches to be played across the English condition that might help them or not. Considering the effect of Duke ball hasn't been so much in these conditions, all the scores leading up to the series against Australia said us towards that. But before that, let's have a detailed look at how all the three formats will be played in the series, first starting with the T20 series, moving on to one day and then finally the test series. It's the start of a long tour when the teams battle out in the first T20 international match at Old Trafford in Manchester. It's gonna be an evening game that's gonna start late if you are watching it in India. We need to focus on the availability of full squad of players in order to go ahead and have a look at which team can come out on the top. The next match of the series will be played on July the 6th. There will be also an evening game played at the same time. This time around, the destination is Cardiff. The ground is Sofia Garden. Some high scoring runs can be expected because of the dimensions of the ground. The final chapter of the T20 series will be written in Bristol County Ground. That's an early day game starting at three and a half earlier if you're an Indian supporter giving you enough time to watch the match and enjoy the series finale. There is no surprise and no prizes for guessing that pace and swing is gonna play an important role in the town of Manchester in the opening T20 International. The ground has an average score, the team batting first doesn't manage to make more than 139. Well, that can surely change with the increase in the number of runs and the run rate that England had managed to pull over since their early exit in the World Cup. With players like Jason Roy, Josh Butler, Alex Hales, Point Morgan, Johnny Basto providing enough firepower to give threat and provide enough runs in any situation. What can we say about India? They only have their own fears to answer. With the team looking strong in the presence of all-rounder Kral Pandya's inclusion with his brother Hardik should be an interesting and exciting prospect to see. The rise of Lokesh Rahul, the IPL star for Kings XI Punjab, would be interesting to see whether he manages to steal a spot from the openers Dhawan or Sharma. But it's for no reason that ball is the most important talking point when it comes to playing in England. That's the reason there are a lot of fast bowlers and names gonna pop up in England that you've never heard about. Be ready to wait for Siddharth Kaul and Deepak Cher who have had impressive IPL campaigns for their respective teams who are here to make a mark. With regular markers like Bhuvneshwar Kumar, Pacey Umesh Yadav and probably a spinner in form of Kuldeep Yadav may provide enough for India to bring up a surprise against the Englishmen. Why I'm saying surprise? Because the English team only looks weak on this particular count. But you cannot discount the home advantage that Sam Curran, along with his brother Tom, will be enjoying. Jake Ball has got the height, 
while Lime Plunkett is more than a wily customer. We're talking about wily customer, David Willey will provide enough and really ask some important questions from River. Speaking of Willey, David Willey will be asking some important questions and probably tough one from the Indian skipper Virat Kohli. Kohli has had some tough time facing left armors even in the shorter format. But let's first take care of things at hand. This T20 series is a pretty important one considering what happened with England in the shorter format in the last World Cup. They were eliminated by Minos Bangladesh in the quarterfinals. The shock waves in England made some heavy decisions and some surprise changes, inclusion of straws in the management and captaincy being handed over to Owen Morgan and then Joe Root has led to positive changes. They are the top notch team in terms of scoring runs and big runs. They bat deep but have a certain problem in terms of bowling. Indian team, no matter where they play, they get a lot of support with a billion plus people home also cheering for them. It will be interesting to see when the series starts what's gonna happen. We will be here, you'll be here and we'll bring you all the match predictions, all the updates, all the series news and whatever we can to make this as interesting as possible. We'll be bringing it with the first game and the detailed match analysis including the match predictions for the first game. Keep liking and sharing and subscribing Snoop Shop. This will be your host Alex signing off. Have a great day. Bye bye.